Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Canon Mind Fitness Online Training. It is your coach, Pablo. Welcome to your CrossFit workout. Let's get into your guided flow. Here we go, team. Go ahead and reach for the ceiling. Exhale. Get nice and tall. Reach to the left. Reach to the right. Grab that right elbow, right foot over left foot. Lean to the left. Exhale. Find your balance. And back to center with your torso. Then go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, touch the toes with your feet still crossed. Then go ahead and inhale the way up. Reach for the ceiling. Oh. You're gonna go ahead and separate your feet, go left foot over right. Grab your left elbow, lean to your right. Exhale, find your balance and return your torso to center. And go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, exhale, touch your toes, and go ahead and inhale back up. One vertebra at a time, reach nice and tall, wide stance, then go ahead and tuck that chin, roll the shoulders, exhale, walk it out into a perfect plank position. Hold, keep that core nice and tight, half plank, and cobra. Exhale, get nice and tall. Press those shoulders into the ground, press those hands into the ground, press your head into the ceiling, reach, get nice and tall, release your hips and low back, and release down to the ground. You're going to go ahead and rotate, press away, get a nice chest and shoulder stretch, and then rotate to the other side, hand out by your side, press away as much as you can, press, 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 exhale. Beautiful, return to center, back into Cobra. Press up, exhale. Sit back, butt to heels. Back into Cobra, press up, exhale. Tuck the toes, down dog, press away. Back to plank, keep that core nice and tight. Squeeze the glutes. Should be so tight that someone could sit on you and you were not going anywhere. Back to half plank and cobra. Exhale, reach down to the ground. Open up again. Press away. Exhale as you press away. Rotate to the other side. Press away. Exhale. Hands back to center. Press up. Exhale. Tuck the toes down dog. Press away. Beautiful. Back to plank. Half plank. Cobra. Beautiful. And go ahead and sit back. Butt to heels. Come on up. Five cat cow twist. After your five cat cow twist, right hand underneath the left, shoulder touches the ground, sit back and pull away from the stretch. Feel that stretch come across that upper back, upper shoulder region, and then come on up, reach and rotate three times for me. Reach and rotate. Reach and rotate. Beautiful, same thing on the other side, left hand through. Think about sitting back and away from the stretch, getting your shoulder to touch the ground. Beautiful, come on up. Reach, rotate, three times. Beautiful, hands back to center. You're gonna go ahead and do five scab push-ups. So, chest through the shoulder, shoulder blades try to touch behind you, and then press up just through the shoulders, right? So before, in the cat-cow twist, we were working on the spine. Now, we're working on the shoulder blades, making sure, making sure that those are primed and ready to go. 
Beautiful. Down dog. Press away. Left foot up. Left foot to left hand. Chest up. You're gonna squeeze the glutes. Engage at the hips. Reach for the ceiling. Send those hips forward. Exhale. Reach to the left. And then go ahead, hands back to center. Sit back. Get a nice stretch along the hamstring. Beautiful. We're going to do that three times. Again, back to center. Reach. Just keep the hips. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze. Reach to the ceiling. Reach to the left. Nice. Hands back to center. Toes up. And sit back into your hamstring stretch. One more time. We're going to put that foot back down. Chest up. Reach for the ceiling, exhale, send the hips forward. As you maintain that butt squeeze, you'll feel that stretch on the hip flexors, then reach to the left. Beautiful, back to center, hands back to the middle, on the ground, move your foot forward, toe up, sit back, squeeze your quad, that'll get the hamstring stretch going, and then release, go ahead and kick it back into down dog. We're gonna go to the right side, right foot up, Right foot to right hand. Step up, chest up. In this lunge position. Squeeze the glutes, engage at the hips. Reach for the ceiling, exhale. And then reach for the right. Beautiful, hands back to center. Go ahead and sit back, toes up. Squeeze that quad for your hamstring stretch. Again, we're gonna do that three times. Back to tall, squeeze the glutes, engage, press them forward, reach for the ceiling, exhale. And again, hands back to the middle, sit back, toes up, get a nice stretch in the hamstrings. We're gonna do that one more time. Beautiful, chest up, engage everything. Squeeze, reach for the ceiling, send the hips forward, reach to the right. Nice, back to center with the torso, hands back to the floor, back to the middle, move that right foot forward a little bit, toe up, squeeze that quad, feel that hamstring stretch going, beautiful, sit back, nice, go ahead and back to center, go ahead and kick it back, into down dog, feet back to the middle of the down dog, and then walk it up, inhale the way up, reach for the ceiling, oh. And exhale. Nice job, team. Now you're ready to go for the next piece. Let's go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, into the first part of your warm up. You're going to go into two rounds of a one minute row, taking it nice and easy. Remember, this is your warm up, so we want to get all the joints moving. We want to get the sweat rolling, get the blood warm, get our minds in the right mindset to crush the workout. So, here we go, a minute row. Then you're gonna transition to a minute plank. Real simple, nothing too difficult about this. Whether it's from the hand plank or the elbow plank, it's up to you, your choice, personal preference. But the big key that we want you to focus on is keeping your core nice and tight, squeezing your butt, keeping your elbows or your hands right underneath those shoulders. So if you see me, that's why we do these side views, so you can see the full picture. Those elbows and or hands were right underneath those shoulders, making sure that our shoulders are safe and getting strong the right way. Back is flat the whole time. So once you finish two rounds of that, then you're gonna go into your workout. It's gonna be a multi-piece workout, so stick with me. For time, the first piece is 21, 15, nine of deadlift and box jump. So you're gonna do 21 deadlifts, just like you see here, keeping our back nice and flat, moving our head with our body, keeping our hips back and our shins back, keeping that bar real close to our body, basically skimming the body with the bar. You're gonna do 21 deadlifts, then 21 box jumps, right? So here we see the box jump, whether it's a box jump or a step up like you're gonna see in a couple seconds here, it's your personal choice, whatever is better. Personally, I like to step down no matter what, that way I keep my ankles, calves, and knees healthy and safe for the long term. Then after you finish your 21, 15, nine deadlift box jumps, you're gonna take a five minute rest. Rest for five minutes, take your time, grab some water, take your breath and get set up for the next workout. The next workout is gonna consist of front squats and bar muscle ups. So you're gonna do 12, nine and six front squats into bar muscle ups. So 
whether you go from the rack or from the floor, you're gonna first perform 12 front squats. One through 12, just like you see here. Keeping your elbows nice and high, keeping your core tight, keeping your hips back, knees out, breaking parallel each and every single rep. If you can't break parallel, then you have to go super light. That way you can work on that. You might wanna put a box or a ball underneath your butt also to work on depth. Then after you hit your 12 front squats, you're gonna transition to your bar. Now, if you have a bar, and not rings or not rings but a bar you know whichever one you have bar or ring is up to you but it's programmed as a bar so here we go coach aaron doing some beautiful bar muscle ups so you'll do 12 9 and 6 so 12 front squats 12 bar muscle ups 9 and 9 6 and 6 and then rest five minutes your last piece of this workout this mashup is going to be four rounds of 20 calories on the rower this means you're going to have to put a lot of power output into the rower to make sure you get as close to one calorie per pull as you can on the rower so take your time make sure you're getting explosive and strong pull squeeze your quads at the end and that'll get you a full calorie then 30 push-ups chest to deck each and every time no excuse if that doesn't work then bring a pillow underneath that chest but i always want you to touch something that way you're always working on that whether it's lower or higher it doesn't matter i just want you to work on that depth all the time guys good luck have fun and post your comments and scores in the facebook page i'll see you in the next one thank you ladies and gentlemen for following along with us we appreciate your time we hope you enjoyed the workout we hope that you let us know your score if you liked it how you liked it and how we can improve for next time our goal is to keep you healthy at all times and keep improving alongside you so please let us know how you like it Post your scores on social media, tell your friends about it. Health is incredibly important, especially in this time. So let's all get healthy together and keep each other accountable. See you in the next workout.